Austin, Texas, home to technological and cultural advances, but for everything going on in this city, the hub is bathed in burnt orange, and it is DKR and the Texas Longhorns. Both teams have been building toward this one for a while, and it is here, a top five clash between two powers. As we'll see, the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the third-ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Longhorns will kick it away to start us off. On the move from inside is five. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's on the loose. There he goes. Open it up. They won't get him. It's a touchdown. How about special teams being special on the opening kick? You work in meetings all week, and we might have a chance to bust one. First kick takes it, bust it through, uses the speed, takes it all the way back to the house. What a start. Lining up to add another. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So a dynamite play there, 99 yards. He took it back for the touchdown. They're just about to boot it away, full of energy after housing that last kickoff. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. So the Texas Longhorns will have some work to do after that short return. And David, we'll see just how effective they can be on the ground running against a backer like this. But they're going to do what they do, and they're going to feature their guy. He's an elite running back. You're a great linebacker. Let's see who wins this battle. Got a lot of running room. The 40. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Longhorns. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you add my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short, and he did the rest of the work. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The Bulldogs offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. And who says you can't find big-time tight ends anymore? Both of these teams certainly have. In modern college football, Reese, tight ends are becoming a bigger and bigger part of offenses. And what a treat today. We get two of the best in the nation. Yeah, going head-to-head, -head, catch for catch. I'll be interested to see which offense uses them differently and can find ways to maximize these guys' strengths because they're ballers. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. 
Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. He'll keep it himself. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs. Great open field running ability by this QB. The dogs getting set on first and ten. From the gun, the running back looking for room. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Going for the big play. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Oh, look out. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, in the modern era of college football, you're seeing more and more athletic tight ends. Like what you just saw right there. The defense had no chance covering that guy down the field. He makes them look silly on his way in for the long touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. Reads it. Fires complete. Early in the game, I love getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. You've thrown him 4,000 times. Not big shots, but just put you in nice positions on the next downs coming up. Offense gets set for second down. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Grabbed behind the line. It's golden. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Looking for space. It's blue. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Free snap motion in the backfield. Dropping back, it's yours. Find your soft spot in the middle. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. That's really got to make this offensive coordinator feel good calling the plays. You get a completion on third down early in the game, and he should be having a lot of confidence now moving forward in this game calling plays. The Loghorns are moving quickly down the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Bolden. 
Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Now on first down from the 43. Wide receiver shows motion. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Caught behind the line. It's golden. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Off play action. He'll off one deep down the left side. You see it in football all the time, right? Now, I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. They're going to throw it again. Trying to get to it. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He's going to have to break out the thunderfoot on this one. A 57-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the ground game. And it's loose. The defense pounced on that, and now they're headed the other way. Touchdown, Texas! The defense takes matters into their own hands. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Off the play fake on first down. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the 7. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. 
Back to pass. It's back. It's complete to the left. And he's dragged down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody to dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block. It's Bolden. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Here comes the Texas offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, Dave? Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field, just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Grabbed in the backfield. It's golden. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. On that RPO, the QB is just trying to keep it himself and see if he can get the first down, but nothing doing. He wasn't able to spring free, just too much speed defensively, and now it sets up fourth down. And the Longhorns will punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Second down coming up. On the ground, it's ETN. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth down. Georgia sends out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. 
to the ground with the back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. To the air, it's Ewers. Feeling nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Third and long equals pass almost every single time. Pin your ears back, go get the quarterback. Great job by the defense, understanding the situation. Everybody flying upfield, putting pressure. Know the quarterback's going to hold it. Get to him, strip, sack, you get the rock. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to... Touchdown, dogs! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of a great field position. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Strike quickly, and they did. One play, and they put it on the board. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Bolden. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own and unfortunately ended up losing yards. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. To the air. It's Ewers. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. You spread me out, I'm going to speed you up. Nice job. They go empty. Nobody in the backfield to help the quarterback block. The linebacker comes right up the gut, gets the quarterback, gets him on the ground. The Longhorns will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. At the 40, there he goes. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. And the dogs hunkering down to pick up a first down on the ground. Yeah, and you can hear the sound of Larry Munson. Run the dang ball. That's what they've always built this program on is running the football. Physical running backs. That's what Georgia does. 
looking for space. It's ETN. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Now the play fake. They're trying to get to it. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's back. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Hits that hole for four and gets it out to the 16. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. He's got it down the middle. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Third and short, they've got them backed up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Breaks the tackle. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run game coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. And the Longhorns come to the line in the hurry up. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. The Longhorns have it with a first and ten. On the run, it's blue. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time, they attacked the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. 
Might as well give it to him again. Pulled down after a pickup of three. Ball's at the 13. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Motion from the offense. Now they'll try the right side. Works his way down to the 10 yard line after a pickup of three. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Looking to pass. It's Ewers. Let's it fly. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players involved. Really nice job. Very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Gonna run it. It's ETN. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Evans. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. So it's not just a strong running game. The dogs can be dangerous with those weapons up top. And I think when you've seen Georgia really dominate in college football over the last several years, it's because they've been more aggressive, more willing to throw the football early downs, trust their quarterback, not just the ground game. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for a man. It's back. It's complete on the right side. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is snowed under. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense, applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. Georgia sends out the punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. 
That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you, Paul. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on time. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Wants to throw. It's Ewers. Floats it out in space. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. That last completion has him set up second and short. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Using his legs, it's blue. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. He wants to throw. Looking for the end zone. Fires into traffic, picked off. He'll go out of bounds, but just what they needed to get the ball back. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. You get that turnover and you try to punch them hard immediately on the first play and they come up with a big game. And when the defense is running on the field, you are thinking sudden change, sudden change. When they create a turnover, a lot of times offenses want to be aggressive. They were and they get rewarded. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones, and they completely had him surrounded. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And that's what defense is all about, understanding the situation. It's third and long. I'm going to drop back. I'm going to make him throw that ball underneath to the running back and then do my job. Go corral, tackle him, and force the fourth down. Georgia lining up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Maybe one notch of adrenaline too much on the punt there. It hits about a yard deep in the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Wide out in motion. 
Off play action on first down. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. That's a nice looking catch on that play. And I know Texas is known for DBs and they're known for having really good running backs. Not a lot of great receivers over the years. I'll tell you what, though, this guy has really showed up in this game. He's making plays. And I know they want to continue to build a legacy at this position here in this program. And off from the shotgun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How frustrating is that? You're that running back. Where were you supposed to go? There was absolutely no lane for him on that play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They'll keep it on the ground. Fights off a defender. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking downfield, it's Ewers. And they can't make the connection on third down. And third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. The Longhorns send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a ton of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punter. On the move. It's Etienne. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. And those hairy dogs taking a bite out of another first down. You don't usually find Georgia teams that complicate things. They know who they are, and it starts with running the football, establishing the line of scrimmage. That's what the dogs do. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Fast motion from the offense. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Pass the 45. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. I love this play call. You want to get your playmakers the football in space. What a creative way. This little kind of push pass by the quarterback. Get into the receiver's hands quickly and let him go make yards. And the dogs are moving quickly down the field. Back to throw, it's back. He'll take a shot. Tip ball, put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Etienne. 
And one of the things you love about this running back is not only can he run between the tackles, but he's also a weapon in this offense catching the football. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. They'll go to the air on third and short. Gets open down the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. Tosses it incomplete. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. Caught over the middle. It's Kelton. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. And he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative. So I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. Got his man quickly. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone. Let's it fly! Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. And they make the play and make sure there's not any scoring opportunity right here before the end of the half. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He'll start this drive firing. Grabbed in the middle. It's dealt. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Finds his man down the middle. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And how about this confidence in their field goal kicker? They're going to pat him on the butt and say, go give us three, big fella. What a disappointment. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. It's time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a superb matchup in Austin today. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. 
and it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. And with that, let's get it back to our fellas at DKR. Ready to get things going here in the second half as Georgia about to kick it away. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. As they get ready to start this third quarter, think how big the lead might be if they'd taken care of the ball. Well, the game might be over, Reese, but if you're on defense right now, you've gotten a couple turnovers early, and you're saying, okay, we're going to need to keep this up. we got to stay aggressive for us to have a chance to win this game, but we believe we can do it. Yeah, you, you've already done it, so of course you're going to believe it. Keep playing fast, keep playing physical, and then tell your offense, hey, we need a little help over here. <laughs> can you help us out and put some points on the board? They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They tried to get the defense going the wrong way with the counter, but nothing doing. Aggressive defense, attacking defense. You want to hit them with those counters, but it wasn't successful in this play. Defensive line, linebackers, everybody's dialed in. They see what's going on. They diagnose it, go downhill, hit them right in the middle of the field. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Holds it in. Hit the gas, kid. What? Ahead. Oh, he thought for sure he was going to be able to house that one, but a huge pickup all the way down to the 12. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offensive success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Movement here from the tight end. Trying to run, it's blue. Pickup of one, it's down at the 11. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wide receiver shows motion. To the air, it's Ewers. Tight end finds a soft spot. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. And the defense stands up this offensive line and stuffs him right at the line of scrimmage. He didn't get it. And stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense, showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. He was on target with his first kick, and this one ought to be easy from 20 yards away. Right down the boulevard, it's good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. 
After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Scanning the field, it's back. Fires to the tight end. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something-something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. And that's how pressure on a quarterback can affect the passing game. They were able to get after him on that play, and as a result, the QB made a bad decision, forcing that football into double coverage. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now second and 10 from the 40. He's looking to throw. Unleashes it. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. The big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. Georgia going back to work with another first down. The aerial assault continues. He makes the catch. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. They get him after he picked up five and got him inside the red zone down to the 16. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Here comes second down and this crowd is turning it up a notch. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They make the stop, and they give up five yards on the run. It's down to the 11. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Third and inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop it. You better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coaches block those guys. Don't watch them tackle our guys. It's caught. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Defense! 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 You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Back to throw, it's back. Fires to the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldog. Great timing here between the quarterback and receiver. You're down close to the end zone. Ball's got to come out quickly. Receiver's got to win quickly, and they were on the same page on that TD. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them on top by one. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass.
Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bolden. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes the Texas offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. And the Longhorns want to crank the tempo. Got it behind the line. It's Bolden. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never do one. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Back to pass, it's Ewers. Zings it complete to the right. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. That's just a tremendous individual effort by the defender. He's able to defeat his block and get to the ball and get the ball down on the ground. Very, very nice job. Here on third down for this offense. From the gun, wants to pass. Got a man, it's Bond. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. The QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you look that defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. The Longhorns are marching down the field. From the gun, the running back has it. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. It'll be a draw. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the chains for the first down. And you can see why it's so tricky for a defense to have to stop these draw plays. Everything the offense is doing is telling you pass. The quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs delaying. You've taken your deep drop in coverage, and now you've got to rally and find the football and do it trying to avoid these big 300-pound bodies running at you full speed. Not an enviable task. Caught in the backfield, it's Bond. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. So after the first down run, here's second down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Doesn't have a straight on shot here. He'll kick it from the left hash and 39 yards out. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And now they take the lead.
So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner is stopped. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. A strike downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That is a really good-looking throw. And you think about the expectation level now for quarterbacks at Georgia. Matthew Stafford was the number one pick overall. Stetson Bennett won two national championships. Imagine the pressure on this guy. But when you see throws like that, he makes you believe that he can step up and lead this team to yet another natty. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, that helped the completion percentage, but the idea was yards after the catch, and it didn't happen. Great job on defense, too. See ball, get ball. They saw exactly when that ball was spit out. You saw the defense fly to the football. Here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. Fires above it. Now it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. And I think if you're the head coach here, you, you've kind of got mixed reviews on your passing attack so far because, yes, you've thrown for a bunch of yards and you've thrown a couple touchdowns, but you've also given up four sacks now. Pass protection has not been great, even though they've got the lead in this game. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Off the play fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing in zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Longhorns will send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Mistakes are going to happen as they did on that last drive. Now how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Back to throw, it's back. They're working that left side. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Second and short now after that completion. This time they'll go to the running game. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. 
And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Bell. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And that is exactly where the football was supposed to go. Offensive coordinators call drag routes, anticipating man coverage. Even though the ball's only traveling two, three, four yards down the field, if the receiver is able to get a rub and create some separation and the quarterback hits him in stride, that little completion, that can turn into a 20, 30-yard game. Tackle is made after the first down. Well, they needed two yards for that first down. The running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They're going to ride this running back. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Etienne. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. You can hand it to him, you can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence felt. Those are your favorite plays, Reese, the him plays, right? <laughs> Finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield they're going to continue to highlight this guy running back searching for a hole he steps out of bounds but he's got a first down on the play and this offense has got it all working right it's just been tough this, this defense is on its heels can't figure it out a bunch of plays in a row now. A bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this rhythm. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Quickly complete. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. They'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the air. It's back. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Georgia. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is five here in the fourth. So a drive there of 84 yards, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push and just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. 
Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Grab behind the line. It's Bond. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. You know, I think that's a play the quarterback would like to have back. I'm not sure that's exactly who the ball was intended for. He had another open target on the other side of the field that he just missed. Trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, that was the only place the quarterback could go with the ball. Finding his back out of the backfield just couldn't make enough guys miss, and now it's fourth down. The Longhorns line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They move the tight end all over. Give to the running back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's back. Fires to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. I mean, sometimes you overthink it. Sometimes running the football on third and short with the lead is not the worst thing in the world. Keep that clock ticking. But now, decided to go for it, setting up a fourth down. And this looks like a situation where you should punt the football. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Oh, and this receiver with his speed, he's a guy you know this QB is going to look for, especially on these deep shots. You just can't overthrow him when he's that wide open. That's a huge missed opportunity. Grab behind the line. It's Bond. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And I don't like the play call, guys. Screen pass at this point of the game against the defense playing big zones, prevent trying to keep the ball in front. It's just not going to work. You've got to take shots offensively. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Bond. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. 
And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Ewers. Throws to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Over 100 yards receiving, and he's doing it in style, David. And the defense has no answer. Now you're going to break that out on me? You're going to lay out, catch the football? I mean, insane body control. He's shown you a little bit of everything, and this defense has had enough. Motion from the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. The play action fake. Caught behind the line. It's Bolden. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. From the gun, wants to pass. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. And he's got it at the 25. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. You know, you just can't coach toughness in quarterbacks. This guy's been sacked multiple times in this one. And on that last play, he gets drilled again, but he delivers a strike. I'll tell you what, this, this guy's going to be in an ice bath after the game. They'll run it out of the shotgun. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to throw at Ewers. Firing to the right, complete. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. The Longhorns will snap it on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Great heads-up awareness by the cornerback on that play. He saw the receiver get the ball. He shot downhill and made a nice tackle. This drive started about the time Walter Camp invented football, but the defense can finally get a stop on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle. It's golden. Touchdown, Texas! They move on top here on the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead.
Up by one. They're going to try to get the deuce here and make it a field goal lead. Pushes ahead. He'll be stopped short. Still a one-point game here in the fourth. They had hoped to push this edge out to a field goal, but they were denied. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%, especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming, keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Looking downfield, it's back. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Leaves it with the back. Keeps the legs moving. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Grabbed in the backfield. It's ETN. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. That play looked as if it had a chance to be productive, but the open field tackle stopped it. And it's tough to get a running back one-on-one -on, -one on the ground in the open field. You want guys swarming to the football to try to make that play. But understand, that guy's a weapon. Good job by the defense seeing it, breaking on the football, getting him on the ground. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you're just too open. Quarterback could not have walked that ball and placed it into the hands of his receiver any better. That was a perfect throw. Wide out, deep downfield. you got to finish the play. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They're bringing heat. Catch in the middle. It's Etienne. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And the Bulldogs will snap it on first and ten. Fires left. Got his man. Touchdown, Dogs! They've got the lead here in the fourth. This guy is so dangerous because of his speed. He can take the top off at defense, and he did it right there on the post. Great arm talent, getting the throw out in front of him. It didn't matter how many DBs they had deep on that one. I don't think they could have stopped. No backs with the quarterback as they line up for the two. To throw, it's back. 
And this will be caught as they convert the two. On that two-point conversion, they spread the field, five wide receiver set, trying to create some windows to throw into, and they come away with a beautiful-looking, schemed-up two-point conversion. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, you spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw. Getting some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. The defense will try to hold up one more time under two minutes to go. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. He'll try to do it himself. And he'll avoid the tackle on the slide. It's a little demoralizing, too, I think, if you're on defense, because it looked like you had him, right? It's third down. Everybody's getting ready for a big sack. They're pinning their ears back, trying to get upfield. You just can't make the play. Quarterback's able to escape. He doesn't get the first down, but he did get nice yardage, so I'm curious to see what they do here on fourth. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Yeah, how about that, man? Fourth down, trying to go make a play, get this offense going, get it sparked, get some points on the board. And that couldn't have gone any worse. They throw the pick. And not only that, they return it all the way back for six. That offense just shot themselves right in the foot. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. Find his big tight end. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. That last completion sets him up on second down. Dropping back, it's Ewers. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. They'll rush to the line. Clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. From the red zone, looking for a man. Makes the catch. It's blue. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. We're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play, clock running. From the gun, wants to pass. Give him six and give them a chance with the late touchdown still alive in this one. If we 
had any chance to make this happen. We had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put together a five-play, 75-yard drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Just over 20 seconds to play. They must recover this onside kick to have a chance. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming, and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over.